Let's dream. What kind of story do we have this time? Well, let me begin! One day, Mario and friends created a new world! That world was Mario Land! But there was one who didn't think too highly of the name Mario Land! It was that scoundrel Wario! Wario thought that since he was the superstar, it should be called Wario Land! But once he spoke up, an argument about who the real superstar was ensued. Then the Princess Toadstool said, I have a name we can all agree on. It's just like the princess to solve a problem, they all thought, feeling a bit humbled. The name of this world shall be... Peachland! Ugh! So the argument continued for a while. About that time, a terrible thing happened in Mario Land. Without warning, Bowser appeared and began attacking Mario Land! A good Koopa Troopa who discovered Bowser ran towards Mario and company! Then Koopa shouted as loud as he could, Mario Land's being invaded by Bowser! But he was ignored! But Toad, who couldn't stand it any longer, said... SHUT UP! Well, we named the world after the superstar who defeats Bowser! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Mario and everyone else agreed with Toad's proposal. Immediately, they all began scrambling as fast as they could toward Mario Land. Will Mario and friends ever be able to defeat Bowser? This is the legend of Mario Land. Let us see how it unfolds. Oh my aching voice, we're in for a long haul, everybody! Let's play Mario Party 2! Good morning, everybody, it's Minute and Beyond! Welcome to my Let's Play of Mario Party 2 for the Nintendo 64! Oh boy, it's time for Mario Party once again on my channel! So, because it's taken a, a, quite a while for me to get into the Mario Party series on my channel, I think we're going to be doing at least one a year. That's sort of going to be the plan. So, spoilers for future Midnight and Beyond extravaganzas, you know that we'll be visiting the wonderful world of Mario Party at least once a year, or at least until we run out of good games to play, whichever comes first. Okay then, so... It's going to be just about the same as it was last time with the original Mario Party Let's Play. I'm going to be going through all the boards, except for Rules Land, obviously. I'm going to go through Pirate Land, Western Land, Space Land, Mystery Land, Horror Land, and Bowser Land. Alright, so we're just going to be going through all of them, and they'll all be split up into several parts. But the way this is working is that this is going to be played alongside The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, which is also going on my channel. If you're from the future, then this information means nothing to you, but for those of you who are here right now, here's how it's going to work. Every time we complete a dungeon in Wind Waker HD, I'm going to take a break from that LP and then go over and play Board of Mario Party 2. So I think that's a good way for it to go along. So yeah, that's how we're going to be doing things in this wonderful shindig of ours. Now the objective is just the same as the last time, I'm just going to be going through each board, I'm not really going to try to win in all of them. Well, I'm going to try to win, but like if I lose, I'm not really going to reset or anything like that. 
but I still wanted to mix up a little bit if we're going to go ahead into Mario Party 2. Well, since it's called Mario Party 2, I think it would only be appropriate if we had two co-commentators, or rather two commentators, because I'm the main one, and the second one's the co-one. If I had two co-commentators, there'd be three, then it'd be really awkward. Yeah, that's a perfect example right there of why we need a co-commentator, because I don't know how to speak. So I'm going to have someone do it for me. So with every new board, we are going to have a new co-commentator, and they're going to be helping me keep my sanity through the insanity that is Mario Party. So yeah, I'm just gonna go cut away for a minute, gonna go uh, ask ever so nicely for somebody on my beloved friends list to go and enjoy a splendiferous experience of Mario Party playage with me. Where did I put the duct tape? Okay, and we are back with our magical co-commentator with the magic of editing or the magic of magically getting someone here with the magic of magic! Can you introduce yourself, Splendiferous Sir? Uh, hi. I'm Cyrus. I'm on Twitter, at Psychopather. Uh, I write things and tweet about games. It's a good time. Hi. Well, thanks for coming, and now we'll have to go. So, thank you for being here today, and we will see you all later. Goodbye. Alright, yeah, uh, did you check out my, uh, my, my MySpace page? Uh, yeah, see you guys, see you guys later. Add me on AIM Messenger. Uh, oh, God. Alright. <laughs> I actually remember using that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, then. So, yeah. Like I said, we're going to have a co-commentator for every board because it's Mario Party 2. And you got to have Ooh. two. It's gonna get Can't wait for Mario Party 10. Yeah, it's going to be a big old party. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off with Rules Land. The best board in the game. No, we're going to go to... Hi. We're going to go to oh. Pirate Land. Oh, I actually wanted Rules Land. <laughs> no, we ain't doing Rules Land. Where we're going, there are no rules. Oh, okay. I actually played Pirate Land the other day. I play. I, st I still, to this day, play a ton of this game, so I'll, I'll be, I'm very excited to be here for this. And I have not played this in a very long time, so everything's going to go wrong. Okay, I'll, I'll try to guide you through and see if I can figure out. Alright, so we have six characters to choose from, the same ones from the original Mario Party. So, I thought about using the same character for every game, but that would be kind of boring, so I think we're going to switch it up for every single game, and I kind of already do have a specific character for every single uh, Mario Party game that I play. And for this game, we have none other than the one and only Luigi for this game. Alright then, Luigi's going to get his time in the sun one more time on my channel, and then he'll be locked in a closet far away, and we will never speak of him again. But, but, my dark moon. I just noticed the description of the book. I never noticed that before. He says, Mario Yeah, Smash yeah, they're weird. Runs like the runs Dickens, like the Dickens. Our hero. Uh, Let's see, that's a tricky <laughs> I usually go with uh, with Wario or uh, DK in Mario Party 2. Uh, uh, um, well, you actually get to choose the computer players, so the guests can do that at least. So, who are the okay. computers? Yeah, let's go with uh, Wario, DK, and uh, just so I can torture you, Peach. Oh, God, I was hoping you wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, well at the very least we're gonna have one easy, one normal, one hard like the last LP did, so okay. Wario's going to be easy so we can have him say, Doe I missed a bunch of times. That's a good... Uh, so Peach has to be hard then. Oh, Christ. Yes! <laughs> and just for that you're gonna have to be here for 50 turns now. We're gonna go to 20 turns because... Oh, stuff. I wonder 50 turns. I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. We are gonna have, you ever, have you ever played a 50 turn game? Uh, yes, but not in Mario Party 2. Okay, I did it in f 6, I think. Usually, might have been 5. I do it in 5 because it's fun, and then 6 and 7 to unlock stuff. Yeah. Alright, then are these settings okay? Yes, okay, Ska. No, now that you're done, okay. let's go! <laughs> uh, so I'll try not to make references to, to it too much, but whenever Toad shows you where the star is in this game, afterwards, or in this board specifically, he does a little dance. And uh, when uh, Nintendo Capri Sun did this, video, this this game for some videos a while ago, he said that it looked like Toad was humping the boat. Oh. And to this day, I cannot see that. I was going to so, point that out anyway, because I totally see it too. Yeah, so I, if, if I mention that, I'm going to try not to, because it still makes me uncomfortable. But it, it, he humps the boat a lot. And it's a little weird. We're here, everyone! This is Pirate Land! This is a tropical isle! Pirates are scouring the island in search of the secret treasure! You too shall become pirates and scour for the island for booty! Oh, I already got the booty hey. in sight. Alright, the hey. objective this time... <laughs> find the booty. Oh. Okay, so find Bowser's booty. I find Captain Bowser, your nemesis, and find the treasure. Find the secret treasure to become the superstar of Pirate Land. Now then, before the adventure begins, we must decide the turn order. And we blow him up. 
All right, let's see if I'm going first. I'm going third. I got third with an eight. Oh God! First is me, second is Peach, third DK, and fourth is Wario. Or did I even say that? Right? I don't even know. I'm Wario. going third. Wario. Ten coins for everyone, and good luck with the superstar. Hooray! Whoop de doo. Wario. Wario. All right. Wario. So the first star is over there, and Toad's gonna be humping the boat, being all like, "Hey, it's twenty coins for the star." But well, there's also a uh, Bowser Jr. Baby Bowser Space. I mean, Toad's all like, Oh, God, run. We're going to go overboard with that much humping. Yeah, probably. we be swabbing the deck. All right, whatever. So, I have not played this in a while, so... ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Okay. <laughs> so, okay oh, oh, I wanted that to be a star so bad. Jesus Christ, that would have been a horrible beginning. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh, my God. So, yeah, there are hidden blocks in this game. In the original game, you could get Toad, Boo, and... Or Koopa, Boo, and Bowser. But in this game, you get either 20 coins or a star. And I landed right on the bank, but that does not give me anything because there's no coins in it. Well, you're, you're not going to lose any coins, so better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, the bank is, like, my one of my least favorite features in Mario Party just because I hate having to give up coins every time. But if you land on the bank, you get all the coins in the bank. I don't know, I, I always preferred the way the bank is, is formatted in the earlier games as opposed to the later ones, where, like, you can put it anywhere in, like, Mario Party 5 or 6, whereas in this game it's just kind of in a standard spot. I prefer that. Alright. Also, Fillet Relay is, the, like, one of my favorite mini games in this game. Yeah, because you dress up in a penguin suit. It's three on one. I'm all alone. Uh, how do I do this? Well, game? it's I, I usually find it having an easier time as the, as the one person in this game. And it's interesting to see how the different, how each of the different computers play with the different difficulties, because I usually just play with one normal one, because we just play with a few friends, so... I'm interested to see how they, how good Peach is as compared to how bad Wario is. Alright, I'm trying to You just mash A and you move, but if you mash A too fast, you'll fall backwards, so be careful with that. It should also be noted that last time I played this, it was on the Wii, where I could use a oh, GameCube Jesus controller. Oh, Jesus Christ, Peach is fast. Oh, That's hilarious. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I'm falling behind, but careful. I don't have to wait to pass. Oh, you stinking penguin butt, Peach. Alright, come on. Oh, yeah, if you bump into the penguins in this game, you really get sent to you know, flying, so uh, careful of that. And, yeah, the controls in this one are weird because they're, they're all icy, so it's kind of, like, interesting to, like, maneuver. Can we also talk about how fitting it is that the first minigame I play with you is a penguin-related one? <laughs> those of you who don't know, me and Cyrus have a very large infatuation with the game Club Penguin! I'm gonna win here! Okay! Okay, that was close. That was really close. That was a little too close, Jeffrey. Yeah, right. yeah uh, we, we we play Club Penguin a lot together. It's one of those weird things that we were when it's very late at night. We're very, both very tired. Rather than getting crunk like normal adults do, we we, we go on Club Penguin yeah. because you know we play Find Four. We, well, yeah. So Club Penguin actually is the easiest way to play uh, <laughs> uh, Connect Four with somebody online. So that's how we. That's the main reason we do it. Uh, and then we get kind of sucked into the rest of the events going on throughout the Penguin verse. So, and I'm still campaigning because Club Penguin is technically owned by Disney to get uh, Club Penguin put into Kingdom Hearts three. So, I, I, you know you want to see that. Uh, I'm not you haven't even played Kingdom Hearts, and you want to see? I haven't even played Kingdom Hearts, and I want to see it. So, if they put Club Penguin into Kingdom Hearts three, I would buy Kingdom Hearts three just for that reason. Uh, did you? Did you notice know how many spaces I had left? I did not. Because uh, I'm worried about those happening Six, maybe? spaces because they send you back to start. Yeah. I'll get it just for safety, I guess. Whatever. I can win more minigames. I'm skilled like that. Four, three. Okay, I'm safe, but still. Would have been bad if that wasn't the case. Well, it makes it easier to get across the bridge, unless somebody else lands on a happening space. But Because I usually, the last few times I've played this board, like literally every time somebody lands on a happening, a happening space whenever someone else is on the bridge. It's a very difficult time getting across the bridge in this game. Uh, dizzy dancing. <laughs> so there's a mini game in this game that's uh that's called Tipsy Tourney, and for whatever reason, whenever I think of Dizzy Dancing, I always think, or whenever I see that we're playing Tipsy Tourney, I always think that it's Dizzy Dancing because Tipsy Tourney, and you're like moving around in this game, like your characters are, uh, 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 uh under the influence of alcoholic <laughs> beverages. <laughs> Oh god. So that's my that's I always think this one's called Tipsy Tourney, but I'm like wait, that's not appropriate. That's probably not what it's called. I'm trying to remember what Tipsy Tourney is. Like I think it's the one with the shell on like the platform and you have to like move it around. Did I get that oh. or was that Peach? I can't tell Oh of course it was Peach! Ah dang it. That was close. That was jumping up there. Oh whatever. I I thought you had it too. I think you jumped a little too early though. Too early? That means I should have gotten it. Eh, whatever. Well no, as then you jump off like before you were in front of it. Like you jumped like in front of it and then you fell down again. Yeah. 
So this isn't a happening space, but it activates only when you go onto it, so... Yeah, I always thought that was weird. <laughs> it's kind of... And you have to pay the money and everything, yeah. It's, it's weird that it's not happening. But... It takes it right past the star, which is awesome. That's good. Yeah. Maybe they... Maybe in testing or something, they realized that, like, people were landing on it too often, so if they gave it a happening, that would be unfair to give a happening space. I don't know. And me and DK are hanging out my past self, I guess. Alright, I'd recommend using... Well, I don't know if it's gonna get you the star, oh, well, but I you might... 10. I'd recommend using your... Oh, you got 10. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I, I always try to use a mushroom if I, if I have one near the bridge, but then again, it's the stars right there. You might not want to. Uh, oh, of course I get to the stars, but I don't have enough money. Hooray, it's all peaches ah. fall. I'm going back. Oh, well, I guess that's not too bad because... Oh, well, yeah, it could be worse. All right, then I'm losing even more money, though. Yeah, but you're going to land on a blue space here, and that's going to put you at 11 coins. Oh, it didn't take me back to that. All right, okay. Oh, wait, shit, yeah. I'm confused. Uh, uh, okay, everything's going wrong. Oh, but oh, Warrior's over here now, too. And odds are, you is probably going to land on a um, happening space up there, so everyone's pretty far from the start to begin with, so. So this should go without saying, I'm not trying to win every single board, just like the first game, it just goes with whatever the heck happens. And, yeah, Tile Driver, what the heck is this one? I haven't played this in a while, so I Oh, uh, uh, this is the one where you're ground pounding, I think. <gasps> oh, with this, this one, okay. This spinny things, yeah. Let's... This one, I, I when I play with friends, it always comes down to, like, how, like, it's basically, if you screw up, you lose, and then the rest of it is just, like, it comes down to a split second of how fast you can ground pound. What's the ground pound? Okay, it's L in this one, because the classic controller. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, it's easy, usually. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta play this game with 64 controller, as in my opinion. I play so much of it like that, so. You are going with Boo. I am, I wasn't even paying attention, I was just gonna keep pounding it. Good thing you're here to guide me through and stuff. Yeah. I don't know, for me, I always just, like, Unless the space that I'm currently on in the beginning is uh, is the thing, I always just go and touch the closest space, and then just go and try to get the closest one out as fast as you can. And then the other thing too, the other key to this game is trying to ground pound as quickly as possible. So like basically hitting L like immediately after you hit A or Z or Z on the 64 controller, but in this case it'd be L, and just try to do it as quick as you can. Are um, you kidding me? God darn. Yeah, Peach, be Peach beat you there by a second. Why'd you choose Peach for the Zillier fault? Well, had you ground pounded that first one without moving, because the first one you could have ground pounded, but you moved somewhere else instead. I'm sorry. Uh, and you could have ground pounded that first one, and you would have been like probably one block ahead of Peach, and then you probably would have beaten her by a second. But I like this but again. That one, that one comes down to like every last little bit. So I liked it better when you were co-counting for babysitting Mama. Then I was in control of everything. <laughs> I know this game oh, God. far too well. So. Um, when I'm at school, Mario Party 6 is my game of choice, but when I'm at home, it's definitely 2. Um, well, I like 5. I love 5, but um, my roommates and my friends at school don't like it. Um, so we always end up playing 6 instead. Um, I think 5 is the best mini game, but um, I think it's got the best boards. Well, I think 6 has better mini games, but I think 5 has the best boards. As ev everyone in the universe knows that I'm obsessed with 5 because yes. history and stuff. Yeah, I mean, my thing with 5, sorry, I just my headset there, um, my thing with 5 is that um, it's the last, like, truly faithful Mario Party where everything about it is like the originals, mm -hmm. whereas once you get to 6, only two of the boards in 6 are regular Mario Party boards, and the rest of them have these weird gimmicks that are kind of different and strange or whatever. Um, so I definitely prefer um, 5 of that nature in, in that all the boards are regular Mario Party. Um, but I think six has some better mini games, so. So I just yeah, sorry. I just yeah, I just feel kind of weird going to six sometimes because like I want to play regular Mario Party and you can really only pick two boards. Um, there's a third one that it's pretty similar, but it's not exactly the best. But um, and then the rest of the boards are kind of lame. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Um, this is something new that was introduced into this game, the item mini games where you could get items. Also, this is the first Mario Party game where you could actually have items. First off, so oh. that's interesting. Oh. Yeah, it's funny how they they kind of evolve from game to game, whereas, um, well, so there were only actually, like, regular items between 2 and 4, and 2 only allowed you to have one item, but 3 and 4 allowed you to have 3. Um, I think 3 kind of did it the best item, but then again, 3 also had the special items, which I thought were kind of weird. Um, but the nice thing about this game is that each character only has one item, so, um, if, but it doesn't show you what they have during the regular stuff, which is kind of interesting. So if you want to steal an item, you have to kind of keep an idea, keep, uh, keep track of what they have and try to steal accordingly. Because the plunder chest is a very underrated item in this game, because I think it's very helpful in getting... Uh, I, my friends and I always call this the butt licking mini game. I know, I was going to point that out, I was like, DK's licking Luigi's butt. Yeah, it, it looks like they're licking butts. And what's going on? I can't control this thing! Oh, you went through the speed thing. But is the speed good? According to Sonic- Oh yeah, he got hit in the face. 
Well, it is, but ah! it also okay. just makes you go kind of out of control, so you won't be one. Oh, oh, you got hit. That's bad. Ugh. Try, try not to do that. Okay. If you, if you, if you can. Oh. I recommend. I recommend not. <laughs> that was actually um when I was getting my driver's license. The instructor said, "All right, here's your instructions. Rule number one: don't hit anything." Okay, now start driving. Eh. That was kind of funny. And there's a bunch of floating disembodied head of Bowser's. I'm not gonna hit those. Alright, so I might be a little bit biased with this one, or like I just might be in the minority, but I actually prefer the original Mario Party over Mario Party 2. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just like the simplicity of it, and I think it's sort of funny slash fun how you could destroy your hand when playing it. Oh, come yeah. on, please don't! No, 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 come on! Why does the world hate me? Oh, jeez, yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I don't like 1 just because I think that 2 is just an ultimately better version of 1. Um, because I can, I can, I can concur that one and two are very, very similar. Um, but I think two, because basically, no, no two Mario games are, no two Mario Party games are as similar as one and two are, where they share mini games and the characters are the same. I think, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, I think that uh, two just kind of does what one set out to do, but does it better. Um, whereas, you know, the mini games are better and the boards are formatted better and a lot of the rules are changed here and there just to make things a little easier and uh, whatnot. Um, and, but also a little more complex in some areas that need to be more complex. So, I'll, I'll, I'll concede I haven't played as much one as you probably have. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I played a ton of two and I never get tired of it, so. I do like the things that they added into two, but the fact that this is the only Mario Party game that has like half the games are reused from one, like you'd think mm -hmm. I would like that because I like one so much, but no, I play a different Mario Party game for different games, so. I'm yeah, it's, like it's, it's, it's in that weird spot where two basically, cause one, I think, I think that one needed that improvement, and I think that's what two is. I think two is more thoroughly enjoyed if you kind of go into it as its own thing rather than comparing it to one. Because I think basically, I think one is just worth skipping, whereas two is basically just because if you want to play one, just play two because two is the better version of one. So because uh, the boards in one are weird, and there's a lot of like you know, uh, like a lot of the three v one mini games where like you know you steal coins when you really don't or shouldn't, or don't need to, or whatever. Stuff like that. Like, the, the crane game one, I think, in in, uh, in, in one. Oh, God. Like, you steal the coins, the people you play with. Like, I think that was kind of dumb. Um, yeah, so, like, a lot of the main games had, like, very heavy punishments for losing in the first game. Yeah. And for those who saw the first LP, there's a certain thing that happens during a crane game minigame that made me go insane. If you saw the LP, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Did you just use- but, wait, you, you could use two items at once? Uh, well, if you use the plunder chest, you can use whatever item you steal. It's kind of weird. Um, I think you can only do that in... Or no, I think you might be able to do it in 3 as well, I'm not sure. Um, but I remember there's... I think some of the later games, when you steal items, you can't use them the same turn. Um, I, mean, the I don't old, think there's a... The only one who can pay the toll for the battle game. Oh, there you go. So there's going to be a pity coin. Oh, great! Date the race is hype! Yes! This uh, is my, what, one of my favorite mini game one. ever. No skill whatsoever, just pick a guy and hope you win. Uh, I was playing this one a little while ago, a few months ago, and uh, we had a 50-coin a 50, a 50 coin battle mini game, oh, and it was God. Day at the Races. It was fantastic. Nobody had enough money, or I think a few people had, two of us had enough money. Oh, which one should I choose? Which one should I choose? Uh, the, the, the Thwomp, far left. Uh, Thwomp. Thwomp is throwing the... Oh, but the far left, just oh, do it. I'm too late. <laughs> Oh, oh, I always go with the, the far left one. Whatever, that's the, the Thwomp or the Womp or... Uh, Thwomp whatever. is the blue one, Womp is the gray one. Okay, I always go Womp in this game, just because I think he's got the best consistency compared to the rest of them. Boo can usually do pretty alright, but he also has the issue of, like, his teleport takes forever. Um, I usually never go with Womp because I think he's just, he's the slowest. Yeah, um, I usually go with Boo, but I thought I could trust you with this! I either I usually either go Womp or, uh, oh, I think you got second. Yeah, that's that's nice. close, but I usually either go Womp or Bomb. Um, oh wait, wait, did I did I get first? Oh, Boo at the last second. I was gonna choose Boo. You barely got second, I think. I don't know if Womp got second or not though, because he's leaning forward. So. Uh, have you ever seen like a wiener dog race, like a real thing? Like instead of racing horses, they race wiener dogs. I have not. It's the greatest thing okay, ever. Okay, yeah, you got second. That's good. I got and pity, pity coin to pe uh, Peach. All right. Of course. Poor Wario. Yeah, we don't even get to hear a do I miss. It's a very cheap lose for him. But yeah, I always go. I always go wop in that one. Just gonna think if I can. Uh, yeah, see, there's Tipsy Turny there. I always think Tipsy Turny is the is the record one because 
they're all walking around all weird. Alright, this is the first game that we see that's from the first game, and hopefully my skills and experience from the past LP will carry on into this game. I was always so much better at this game when I was a kid, and then I started playing this game. Like, whenever I play Mario Party again now, I always play this one, I'm always so bad at it. I used to be so much better when I was younger. Alright, let's see if we can do it. Running on hopes and dreams, and creams, and seams, and I died. <sighs> yeah, you gotta be careful with the treadmill ones because they'll push you farther backwards. It's always for me though. It's always the, the the moving ones, those green ones there that move left and right. Because like if you're on the left side, you're set. But if you're on the on the, or you're on the side that's not on, then you're kind of screwed. So. Oh my God, Peach is going to destroy the entire world. <laughs> I find that kind of fun. So so Jeffrey, in in that in that case, the the hard computer finished first, the normal computer finished second, the easy computer finished third, and you got last. So does that make you the super easy computer? Oh god. 